Defense Minister Manohar Parikar today said any grading of military ranks in comparison with their civilian counterparts will be corrected within a week. This comes after an October 18 Ministry of Defense letter had elevated the rankings of civilian officers while military rankings remained the same. My colleague Vishnu Shom has more. What I'm going to show you now is a letter. Uh, and before I explain those graphics, here's, here's a particular letter. Now, this is a letter dated uh, just a few days. I don't have the date right over here. It's, it's quite recent. It's a letter just a few days back of the Defense Ministry. And the very last uh, page of this particular letter says, this has the approval of the Honorable Raksha Mantri. This has the approval of the Honorable Raksha Mantri. Now, this is a letter dated the 18th of October, 2016. And today, just a few days uh, after that, the defense minister has gone on record saying that within a week, the contents of this letter will be fixed. Now, what exactly are we talking about? The defense minister, Manohar Parikar, has said that any grading of military ranks in comparison to their civilian counterparts will be corrected in a week. This comes after the letter I showed you. It's a Ministry of Defense letter that had elevated the rankings of civilian officers while military rankings remain the same. Now, does that sound confusing? Probably does. Let me spell it down. Let me break it down for you. Now, a civilian principal director who was the equivalent to a brigadier has been equated to a two-star general. So let's just take a look at that graphic. Now, somebody who's a principal director in the armed forces civil services, their equivalent right now will be a major general or an equivalent in the air force or in the navy. Earlier, their equivalent used to be a brigadier. Similarly, a director ranked officer in the armed forces civil uh, services will now find their equivalent officer in a brigadier. Earlier, they used to interact with a colonel. And a joint director presently serving finds their equivalent rank in the armed forces in a colonel or an equivalent officer in the Air Force or the Navy. Earlier, it used to be a lieutenant colonel. And therefore, the armed forces say that a, a, a more senior ranking official from their system has to interact with an official who used to interact with somebody who used to be one rank junior earlier on. This, they say, is part and, and, and of, of a larger process whereby the status of the armed forces is being degraded vis-a-vis -vis their civilian counterparts. Now, there are lots of battles which have been fought. One rank, one pension is just one issue that has not entirely been resolved. But the defense minister had this to say about this controversy. Those are only for functional responsibility. Secondly, I have noted the media report. I have already asked for exact status of the earlier. This is in that same, whatever I saw, in that same, they are referring to 2008 and 2009 orders. So I have asked them to give me all these orders. I am also checking up 2005 order. I will see, and if I feel, uh, if I find, that there is any reduction in functional responsibility. This is not status. There are some people who are trying to misguide. These are functional responsibility. But I will, they will be on the same platform as it was done earlier. I will check up myself. The earlier pay commissions as well as uh, in the, uh, even by the courts. And when you are going to disturb this, and I feel it is a, a deliberate mischief which is being done particularly after the Seventh Day Commission, the way it has come out now, it is going to affect not only the functioning within the service headquarters, between the service headquarters and the Ministry of Defense, and it is going to affect the morale of the armed forces adversely. You know, the armed forces people are very, very sensitive about the status. At a time when the whole world is praising the armed forces action, um, after the Uri. And uh, the three chiefs are fighting for the status of their own, their people, without realizing the implications 